Hey YouTube, History Trackers here. Kind of a weird way to start a silver pouring video, but I uh, wanted to show you this pickup. I just put an engine in it. This is a second time. I had to pull it the first time, and it's been a terrible couple of weeks. Um, I had to pull it because the machinist forgot to put an oil galley plug in behind the timing cover. Um, so I sent it back to him. He fixed it. I had to put the engine back in. A lot of wasted time. Uh, but things got better when I hit my mailbox and found CFA had sent a giveaway and and Talking Bullion had sent a giveaway that I won and made my day a lot better and so we're going to go pour some silver and send back to you guys just to you know maybe see if it brightens your day up just a little bit stay tuned actually thought I'd film, film some more of this in case anybody's interested in it a 73 Ford. It's a 390. Let's put this in for a customer. Rebuilt engine, rebuilt transmission. Did a bunch of the wiring repair. Now he's going to take it and have it painted. All cleaned up. and He's going to put new seals in it. New headliner seats. My my shop was the the first stop, basically because he couldn't get it off the ferry hardly. <laughs> it came bombing in here and he shut it off, and I never could get it to start again. And he said he wanted to keep it till he retires. He's a doctor up at the hospital, and he's only about 30 years old. And I'm like, yeah, you're. He asked me about the engine. I'm like, yeah, you're gonna need one of those before you retire for sure. Let's do it. <laughs> Here's the inside of it. Kind of a mess, but yeah, it's a good, good solid old truck. No rust anywhere. All right, here we are. There's some Delft clay and the rings here and everything. I've never done this with the the Delft clay, so we'll have to see how this goes. Hopefully, it turns out right. Um, it's a little, this is a little, uh, pirate looking coin that me and my girlfriend found in a geocache somewhere. And just thought it was kind of funny that we found it in a geocache. It was an old looking pirate coin of some sort. Of, I guess it's supposed to look like a real or something. But, um, I want to try to press this into some clay and make some little, silver grounds to send back to talking bullion and cfa just you know some something to give back to you guys because you do so much for the coin collecting community and the stacking community and just something that i want to give back to you guys cfa i don't know if that looks familiar or not but uh it's going to look drastically different um, the goal is going to be to get I guess roughly a half ounce, I think, out of that. By the size and everything, I think I could do that. I might throw a couple of one-tenth ounce rounds in with that just to make sure that I get try to get a half ounce each. Um, I guess we'll get going. Um, probably, I'll probably pound all that stuff in there and everything and then get back to you because it'll make a bunch of noise here okay so far i've learned that when you push a coin into this delft clay it's kind of hard to get it in there deep enough to make like a silver round so i used an extension here and kind of tapped it in went around and made sure that it was you know nice and uniform all the way around all right i got my molds done here so we'll get pouring there's a little imperfection on that one side there but i think i can fix that see how it goes okay i'm going to try to pour these again since i didn't get that one full i don't know if you can reuse this stuff or not it looks like it left lines in there and everything like you can almost reuse it i'm going to try it and see what happens be nice for experimental purposes anyways i guess so i'll know for future reference
friend of mine gave me this buffing wheel and I messed up on something one time and I tried to buff it and it left like a really cool antique looking finish so I'm going to try to antique those up with that I don't even know what I don't even know what that is on there some kind of a buffing compound I guess but yeah when I first whatever it was I was trying to buff off <laughs> it, when I first hit it it left like this you know big black mess and I freaked out and then when I tried to clean it off I thought hey that looks pretty cool I have to keep that in the memory bank there's kind of the antiqued looking finish but um, now I'm gonna go over it with some sandpaper um, set it on a flat surface and go uh, basically like that with the sandpaper and it'll clean up the high spots and then leave the the uh, the lower dark spots I guess it'd be like the field on a coin okay there's our end result kind of like how they turned out obviously didn't do them double sided I'm gonna stamp the weight and purity on this side and uh, yeah, I didn't I thought about doing that but then I didn't thought it might not be cool for somebody to try to pass it off as some rare thing if it ever got into the wrong hands <laughs> uh, Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, be sure to check out Talking Bullion and CFA. Um, CFA is on Sunday night at 4 Pacific. And Talking Bullion is at um, 6 o'clock on Monday nights. I believe it's 6 o'clock on Monday nights. But yeah, they have a lot of good giveaways and coin chat. And everybody just has a good time and end up winning some stuff. And it's good all around. Have a good one, everybody.